It's a red blur. Leaving the scene. Here. What do you see? I see your boyfriend's calling. Honestly, how did you not feel the phone vibrate in your hand or even hear it? Relax, nephew. I've replaced the windows with waterproof glass. Yeah, you'll probably regret that decision. Yep, told you so. It's not like I want a museum built to my name. Not so subtle foreshadowing. Welcome to the CCPD. So this is your day job. Mm-hmm. Okay, so they just let anybody walk into the CCPD? For cops, you guys are really terrible at security. Detective, what are you doing here? Joe, I thought you were at the morgue. I decided to bring some work home. Why are you here? Yes, well, I've been looking for you. I'm not going to begin to say what's wrong with that excuse. We were very different. You might have noticed I can be a bit guarded. Ronnie knew how to make me laugh. He used to say we were like fire and ice. <laughs> you have no idea. According to witnesses, the gas attack was in the main elevator in the north wing. Which one is the north wing? The one with the big belly burger. I eat. <laughs> Best part, hands down. Snart's father was a cop. He was a bad cop. Took his anger out on his kids until he went to prison. Snart's dad's in prison too? We should start a club. And call it what, prison daddies? Pretty sure that's already a thing. Damn. My blog is anonymous. All right, well, anonymous or not, it's not safe. You never know what kind of weirdos are out there trolling on the internet. I can vouch for that. The internet is full of weirdos and nerd rage. Seriously, how do they keep getting in here? There are 40 banks in Central City, each of them within 60 seconds of police response. That's the advantage of hitting a moving target. Once the armored car called 911, we had 182 seconds before any cop could be on the scene. Um, did you ever stop to consider any police that were on patrol or in the area? Honestly, I heard you two talking on that rooftop in Sterling City that night. <laughs> I want to see it. And by it, I mean your speed, in case you thought I was talking about something else, which I, which I was not. <laughs> and this is why everybody loves you. Has Barry been showing you some of the sights in Central City? Yes. Um, I have seen some pretty amazing things. Really? Because that doesn't sound awfully suspicious. So where's Felicity? I'm not sure. I told her it started. It... Feel free to buy yourself that dress. <laughs> totally overdressed for trivia night. No. Because trivia night totally sounds like date night. But I do have to admit, she does look amazing. Hey, what are you doing? You should go back to your hotel. Get some sleep. You should too. Not go back to my hotel anymore. Get some sleep. Cinema sins. More like cinema wins. Freeze! Ugh, really? Cold puns? When we put our minds to it, dude, nothing can stop us. Oh, you turned your earpiece off. How are we going to talk to each other? I don't feel like talking right now. This whole drama episode between Barry and Sisko is really childish. You still like playing with fire? You're going to love this. So, are you in, Mick? Or are you out? <laughs> yeah, buddy. I'm in. Later in the season, the actor for Mick changes his voice. Well, the new one is better, still a lack of consistency. I'm not talking about Eddie. I'm talking about this. I can't feel anything. And you're telling me nobody saw him doing that? I swear I had a vacuum cleaner in here. Wait, you carry a blood collection kit in your purse? You have your hobbies. So what you're saying is that you like to go around sticking people. So, human bomb. Must be Tuesday in Central City. Ah, <sighs> CW puns. I'm sorry, I didn't see him. Is it just me, or does Barry take his mask off nearly every time someone dies? It's like, oh no, you're dying. Guess what? I'm Barry Allen. Maybe we shouldn't see each other for a while. Yeah. 
Ugh, more pointless character drama. Doesn't even go towards character development. What exactly did you hit? A man. A big, bad man. His skin changed when I hit him. Like, it turned to metal. Interesting. A man of steel. A swing and a miss. Wait, there's something else. His hand, it transformed like an iron fist. Wrong universe. Honestly, I don't even think you guys are trying anymore. Dr. Wells. I guess you heard about Barry's incident last night. If you're looking for him, I think he's at the station. I actually came here to see you. I need your help solving an old case of mine. What case is that? Okay, so serious topic. During this scene, he asks Wells to help with Nora's murder, but after this transition, we see Barry, Cisco, and Caitlin in the cortex. Then the whole crime scene with Tony happens and we're back. Were they talking about this the whole time? Was the scene right after the first? Or did it seriously take this long just for them to talk about this? What have these two been up to? Details. What makes it even worse is Wells even says. I guess you heard about Barry's incident last night. If you're looking for him, I think he's at the station. Then the next scene has him right there in Star Labs. So what happened?